Hello and welcome to the Warp Chase Toyota Insider of the Memphis Tiger Network. I'm Jeff Brywood alongside head coach Darren Schoenrock. And coach, get ready uh, to finish up this homestand four games this week. Then you'll hit the road. But we look back at it last week and it, season kind of playing out like you said it would. Might be a few struggles early. You just got a lot of freshmen right now. And we're seeing some good things out of the freshmen. But uh, as freshmen go, sometime one little mistake sometimes can get compounded. Yeah, you know, and really they've held their own. They, they've played like a you know, kind of expected. Some of our veterans, some of our returning players, have hit some some little lulls right now, and, and the combination of very very good scheduling, a bad scheduling, if you want to call it bad scheduling, I don't know who does the schedule, <laughs> uh, and 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 some guys just not playing up to where they have in the past, and. You know, it might be a little pressure that you know when you when you have uh, accolades to start a season and eyes are on you, uh, it, things are different. So, so we we got some upperclassmen going through that now. You know, there's some targets on some people's backs, and and uh, and there's there's been some up and down days. And and when you're playing great great opponents, that's that's hard to have those. In, in all fairness, though, I like the schedule. It's much better to play a 12th ranked Missouri State, go down to, to Oxford, play a Tennessee, a Georgia Southern, Middle Tennessee. These are all regional capable teams this year rather than probably logging up some easy wins and building a, maybe a, a, a false confidence. They're being thrown into the fire. That's going to pay off. Oh, yeah. And we're, we're, we're continuing to talk to the team. And, and they get down, you know, and then they, as, as kids do, they pick it back up pretty quick, you know, the next day. But these things are all kind of put in play to, to get us ready for a very tough league schedule. And that, that's when you hope you see the benefits of what we're doing now is when we start conference play. Had to dance around some weather this weekend against Missouri State. They swept the series, but all three games uh, you, you're in. Tried to rally in the first game, uh, game number two of the series. They tacked on five runs late to pull away. And again, you, you, you battle tooth and nail in the third game of that series. Yeah, we had chances to win all three. And it's, uh, and it's been a combination of a couple of different things. It hasn't been all pitching or hasn't been we're not swinging the bat or – we're not scoring runs, or we're, or we're not defending at the clip. I want it's common, kind of a combination where the pitching will show up, and, and and you'll be you know encouraged with what you're seeing, and then we don't make a couple plays, and and uh, and then we get pitched to pretty easily. So, getting all three facets of the game together at the same time and clicking, we we really haven't done yet, and and I'm waiting for that to happen, and it will happen. Uh, the, I, we've seen signs of all of it happening in these games against Murray State. It was. Uh, uh, a few lulls in, in our in our approach offensively, but we did make some charges late in some games, which was very encouraging. Uh, we gave up a lead late. You know, a guy got a swing off and hit a two-run homer off of Drew, who has been outstanding for us out of the bullpen. And those things are going to happen. But uh, but our guys, you know, our fought. We fought back and 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 answered a run there and here and there, and then we made it a one-run game on Sunday in the in the final game. So. We're showing glimpses and signs of being able to, to get back on track offensively. Coach, tonight uh, you'll host Pine Bluff, Pine Bluff and Eastern and Lily coming in. They've each won one game. Uh, you look at it on paper, uh, you say it's going to be a good week, but you still got to play the games. They're not going to come in here and roll over for you. And, and in these games, you want to play uh, crisp, sharp baseball. You don't want to just go through the motions as well. Yeah, that's exactly right. And if you do that, you know, you, you're, you're happy when you walk away. I, we haven't done that in a while. We haven't played a real, sh you know, sharp, clean game. And and, uh, and that's the goal. Is it, We talked to our team a lot about baseball is a game where you just have to beat the game. You can't really focus on the opponent too much. You can't get caught up into who's in the other dugout or who's in the, uh, you know, you're going to play some great teams. You're going to play some teams that, that are having tough years. You just got to beat the game of baseball. You throw first pitch strikes. You get lead off men on. You you get your bunch down. You make the routine plays. You know, and it doesn't matter who you're playing. Uh, those things are what lead the win. So that's going to be the challenge: is to keep our minds on on beating the game and keep our minds on who the Tigers are and what we want to look like. Good weather for tonight. Should be mostly good weather for the weekend. I know they say it could be some scattered stuff on Saturday, but it looks like it'll be able to unfold over three days. Yeah, you know, Max just to get back and. You know, we had a tough road stand, and now we got a little home stand here we can take advantage of. The, the Missouri State Series, like it's, you know, we, we had a lot of tarp on and off in early mornings, and you don't ever like that. It's always a little bit of a disadvantage on the home team because you're you're up early and you're, yeah. you're having to do a lot of stuff that the division team doesn't have to, but that's part of it. Uh, 
uh, we, we you know we're excited about this stretch we're in now and, and anxious to see how the guys come out and respond tonight. All right, Coach, we'll see you at FedEx Party. Thanks, Jeff. Head Coach Darren Shaw and Rock, I'm Jeff Brightwell for the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider of the Memphis Tiger Network.